Welcome back friends to Surviving the Daily. I hope everyone is surviving well. So I was kind of thinking to myself and kind of chuckling that uh, I was going to come on here and tell you how sophisticated it is to wear an analog watch and, uh, and then I looked at my hands and I realized that I'm still kind of covered in grease from working on a car earlier today but uh, nevertheless I was going to ask you the question when was the last time that you've ever been complimented on your smartwatch? I know wearing the two that I have uh, I've never been complimented on it, but this uh, very inexpensive uh, Armatron that I bought at uh, Walmart on clearance, I've been, I've just uh, was uh, compl complimented on it the other day from the lady at the drive-thru at the bank. So that was pretty cool and kind of a small confession to make that I have an addiction to uh, analog watches, to traditional watches, and I just bought a new one, my first G-Shock. And this is the uh, the GA seven hundred UC dash eight A, and uh, I'm pretty excited about this. Now, um, as we can see, we have a international warranty card, and we have the user guide and the module number fifty five twenty two. But uh, aside from aesthetics, there is a real benefit to having an analog watch that uh, if you're camping or you're hiking or you're in a bug out situation or a bug in situation or grid down, anything aside from uh, an EMP attack, you know, these watches are going to keep on working. Whereas a smartwatch, give it a week and the battery's dead and th they're virtually useless uh, in a grid down situation anyway. So. Uh, there's no point in really wearing that one so but uh, this right here this is pretty cool again I apologize for my my hands for being dirty but um, I was too excited to go and scrub them because I wanted to break into this bad boy here so this is uh, the blacked out version of the GA 700 pretty cool uh, they package this And the MSRP is $99. I did not pay that because I had a bunch of uh, credits at REI that I needed or wanted to use that they were burning a hole in my pocket. But So pretty much any way you go to buy this, it will be $99, even on Amazon. But uh, as you can see, we have the blacked out version with a negative display. The negative display means uh, the display itself is black and the, the numbers and the letters are white and uh, we have a shockproof bezel and uh, mineral glass on the sides here we have six screws plus the uh, textured buttons the textured buttons are uh, supposedly easy to press even with gloves on and uh, we have a resin strap here with a double buckle now the uh, buckle itself is plastic but apparently that there is a reason for that that is meant for people working in machine shops and engineers and whatnot in case uh, you get caught it will it'll break before a metal one will so that's pretty cool it might come in handy at my job and uh, it is a quartz movement with a five-year battery it is uh, 20 bar water resistance or 200 meter water resistance uh, yeah, it has a 48 city world time. Let me uh, zoom in real quick so you can really look at it. I apologize for my fingerprints on the glass already. It has a, a full auto calendar and a five alarm uh, settings. It has a stopwatch, a countdown timer, uh, and it is measuring 53.4 millimeters in diameter and uh, 18.4 millimeters high 69 grams is his weight and it is kind of a big boy but I do have big wrists so um, I think that will fit just fine we do have a light here but uh, you know a lot of people complain that uh, uh, it doesn't really light up anything besides the, the hands and that has its positives and its negatives but uh, I mean I really don't need to know the uh, the day of the week or the uh, the date in pitch dark I don't
don't think I really would need it, but uh, now there is no loom, uh, which means that the 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 hands nor do the hour markers glow in the dark. That's okay. Again, you have that very bright light there. Let's see if I can. I suppose I'm very zoomed in. I should pay attention to. See, you can see the uh, the hour hands and the the, the uh, minute hand. So that's all you really need, in my opinion, in, in the in darkness. Now, if we hit uh, the mode button, we can change it to uh, a timer, the world time, the alarm. Uh, stopwatch and uh, up in the right hand corner we do have the seconds I don't know if you can really see that and then the uh, left hand corner we have the mode that we're in so I'm pretty stoked about my first G-Shock And I'm sure that's going to be the first of many. I do like uh, budget watches. I mean, this is this was a budget uh, smart watch I bought off of, uh, I think, AliExpress or Timu. I can't remember. Not a great uh, smart watch, but uh, it's okay. I, I do have a better one at, uh, uh, inside the house. But uh, let me know down in the comments what you think of this one. Do, do you like the... Uh, the uh, a negative display I, I, that's definitely growing on me do you have any uh, uh, G-Shocks of your own if you do let me know down in the comments uh, which one you have uh, let me check it out but uh, as always I greatly appreciate you stopping in and checking this out I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time